Hi guys, my name is Mark and today I try to sell you an Eastpac backpack. Let's go! I will not try to sell you an Eastpac backpack, but basically we will talk about the new Trigoon Cordura gaming mousepad in black from um, X-Ray Pad. At first, what is Cordura or where do we know Cordura from? All The most of you guys had like backpacks when you were younger or um, hip bags or wrist bags, arm bags, um, shoulder bags, whatever from like brands like Eastpac, Young Sport and other, other uh, more sportive brands who um, um, at this point like in yeah, I, I think they still do it, um, just produce uh, high resistant um, backpacks um, with a trademark, trademark uh, art weaving, which is called Cordura. Cordura is basically something which is um, or which, which has a lot of benefits. That's why you also find it on um, products like um, work jackets, um, work trousers and everything else for heavy duty work or when you work outside in the woods or something like that because it's very very resistant and um, it's um, for example waterproof it's not totally um, it's not like you can put it into water and the water never comes through it but basically it has a very very high waterproof resistance it's like um, normally you do um, like something like an, an, an big glass with a, which is on the on the surface or on the um, texture or on the trousers or whatever and they test it with an, an, an soil of water and then they put like in one liter on one square centimeter and then they try how long it lasts or how much water they can can put on it before it goes through the texture and on Cordura it's very high it's very water resistant uh, but at some point it absorbs um, the water. It's not gets really like it comes through, it just gets wet. So that's why you also can wash it by the way. And one thing is that um, this Cordura stuff, why is it so resistant? Why is it waterproof? Why is it used for heavy duty works? Why um, is it on, on work stuff? on? Um, backpacks which have to last very long or why you use it on um, extreme conditions like when you try to climb a very high hill or something because um, basically every fiber which is woven or used in this process of doing a Cordura product is oil based. So um, oil based means that the the product, which is or the main product, where is it made out, is based just on raw oil. Which brings me to one point. We are now suffering under heat here in Germany and in the States and in other countries in Europe too, like 50 degrees in Spain, for example. We have like 40 degrees in Germany and North Germany, which is very high for us. And we all can't say now there is no global warming and there is no global heating. And there is no pollution and basically um, using synthetic non environmental friendly non eco friendly non sustainable products in the future it will not get better with the climate and one point I'm watching here also now in the future is that we try to um, find out or to seek for more sustainable products because um, the industry here is very big. It's like, I think, I have no clue, I did not make the research, but I think there are like as many computers, mouse and mouse pads on the world as people live. And we will, in like on a base, like one or two years, we just replace them. When we are, for example, look for clothes, for the sheep one at Primark, for example, we replace them very often, like three, four times a year, because they are sheep. We can afford new ones very fast, and they wear off very fast, because the way they are made is not sustainable. They are not high quality, they are just cheap made for consuming. And one problem here is that I believe um, we have at first go to a point, for example, in the mouse and mouse pet game, where product 
products become sustainable and very important on the mouse game is that the products are so far ahead or that the technique behind the products is just perf close to perfect in weight, in PCB design, in everything that the sustainability is also usable because when you for example buy a mouse and in six or nine or twelve months there's a new mouse on the market which is basically way 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 better than the one you bought before it's like making your mouse to trash and we in Germany for example we are one of the biggest polluter for electronic trash in the world it's like we have a government program right now which is aiming for people to hold defect electric products to repair them and get extra money that they repair them and are not throwing them away and replacing them just with something new. That's a, pro that's a, a way. And we have a company, it's called Miele, some of you guys know this. For example, they're right now doing, in my opinion, the best thing. They aim for products which are last minimum 10 years. And one thing I would wish for electronics, um, I know we have technical um, achievements in like when we watch for um, Moore's Law in one and a half year steps, um, but TSMC proved with AMD together that this law can be set out by, by the half at some point right now. And the iMac in Brussels, for example, is doing a great work on chip development. But at one point, you can't, or it's physically, not possible to evolve something anymore. There must be a research for something new. You see it on energy. They try this, this uh, fusion right now. You see it on plastic, you see it on metal, you see it on fuel consumption, you see it on batteries. You, yes, you can improve it a little bit, but you can't um, invent something brand new or which was not there before, because at the point where we are right now, we are basically very, very far ahead and our um, technology is for us and for the, for the abilities we have very superior. So we are on a very high stand. You can see it, you will watch me here right now in 4K. Imagine watching 4K five years ago. You had to go to a very big cinema to watch 4K. Now everybody can watch 4K on YouTube for free. So one point here is Synthetic fiber made out of oil. Hmm. Basically, nearly all fibers on the pad are synthetic. Only um, on the super control pad and on the heavy duty pad and on the Minerva, I think that are not they are not synthetic. And on the Aqua Control Speed, which is basically the coated thin version of the um, super con uh, of the heavy duty pad. But not, and then there is the super control, aqua control, which is basically the coated version, or basically it's the same as the custom super control pad. These only these four pads on X-ray pad are non-synthetic. Everything else equates tors, um, tigoons, and aqua controls are made out of synthetic fibers, and these are based on oil. That's one thing. Yes, I know there is basically no replacement, but there's one thing, for example, equates and aqua controls varying off. And there, I think, in my opinion, is when you watch for sus uh, sustainability or sustain, uh, sustention in general, that the off varying of these pads is too fast. So, which brings me to a point where Cordura, for example, can be an alternative. I don't know the raw numbers behind it. I don't know how many raw oil is used to do one Cordura pad in this size compared to one Equate, for example, or Aqua Control. But now we come to, as I said already, some of the advantages of Cordura. Yes, this is waterproof and it's very, very resistant to abrasion. So basically, it don't wear off very fast. I have different Cordura pads here. Cordura basically if there is a Cordura brand on your pet and someone on Reddit says the ASUS Scrambler, I think it's called, or Scrambler, is basically the same as the Endgame Gear MPC. I can tell you guys there is no Cordura pet which is the same 
and another Cordura pad. Why? Cordura can be chosen in weavings. How is it woven? How tight? Um, in which direction? Um, how many weavings on a square centimeter? And how stiff it is? And which type of fiber they use? You, will they use a soft polished fiber? Will they use a raw fiber? Depending on what the producers decide to use. Cordura is just a trademark which allows you, for example, to bring on this little sign here. Which only says you have to use a fiber and the weaving which is inside of the trademark region. Basically, they give you um, like these, um, that's like a cheat where it says this and this and this and this weaving types, this and this fibers and, and rawness and how they get produced and blah, blah, blah. That's all Cordura. Basically, as much as I know, it's only one fiber selection. But the weaving and how, how tight you weave it, how thick you weave it, um, how thin or thick the fiber is, that's all by you, by your brand, by your company, whatever you want to produce. There are millions of possibilities to do a Cordura pet. I can show you Cordura pets now, which are, or I will show you Cordura pets now, which are different. I have here these MPC pet. Some of you guys already know my MPC reviews. Um, MPC is the one of, I think, one of the most sold Cordura pets um, as much as I know in Europe, because it's made from Endgame Gear, which is uh, basically popular because they are a German brand where, who produced in China from um, a big German company which who uh, who is selling in different countries. The main company behind Endgame Gear is Case King, like for noble chairs and other stuff. Case King is like one of the biggest player on the uh, e-commerce market, which is not on Amazon, so with an own shop. Prices there are sometimes very high. They have very good um, exclusive contracts with different companies all over the world and they are they seeking a lot for new possibilities and new ways and new products to sell to you. But for this there is often a premium on the price. But they also sell in, in Spain and other countries. So they have a very good sale, they have very good sales channels all over the world. They sell also on Amazon as much as I know these pets because um, they are very requested in, in the States because um, they, they got hired by some reviewers there, which are mainly Kranka player. And um, in my opinion, the MPC, besides the... Yeah, the MPC is based on what it cost and how the hype is. One of the not so good performing um, Cordura pets, I don't say it's a bad pet. I would never say this. Uh, also, I don't have beef with Endgame or something like that. I just always want to give you a brief and fair view on what I think and what I feel about pets and about how they sold, how they made. So, we have MPC here, we have the MPX 390 here, which is also from Endgame Gear. Uh, I had MPC, or I have MPC here, uh, the blue old version and the new black stealth version in um, desk size and uh, so the 1200 version and the 450 version. And I have here these um, SPC gear pet from from the Poland a Polish um, distributor, which is also producing in China. And I have here the Cooler Master MP510. Uh, I'm in contact with Cooler Master. On this point, they were not able to send me an 511, which is basically the new one, which is improved in um, in the stitching, and where is also a very cool Sakura edition. On it. It's only a small one, but it's a Kura. It looks very nice. But if I get this, I would do a review for sure about this because pricing on Kula Master and uh, product quality is very fair in my opinion. And um, I think we need it for a roundup. Also, I don't have a Eve. I maybe order a Eve. It's, it's from the States, from the guys who claim to do these super good monitors for a cheap price, which takes now, I think, two years or something like that. And there's, they're not good anymore and they are not pri uh, good in pricing right now. So basically, um, that's like some crowdfunding stuff there, I guess. I, I can't remember really good, but that's what I have in my mind right now. But they also did the Cordura pet. Some people say it's very, very good. Some people say it's not so good because it's never flattens and the stitching is not so good. But pricing is good. I saw, I think it's 20 US dollar on a 40 by 40 or 45 by 45 pet. I tried to source one. 
Like I always try to source everything which is needed to make a very good roundup, a good conclusion and to understand the market of pets and mice. I'm doing this for me out of passion and for you guys to just share my passion, my impressions, my experience and everything I've learned in my professions I've um, done already in my life and all I've ever made which is based on computer, on gaming, on periphery, on technique, on engineering, on physics, on math. Basically, I understand, I, or I understand and I learned a lot in my whole life about everything of this. I'm not a doctor in something or something like that, but I'm, I'm able to give you guys good information, which are like, um, which have parallels to other stuff you better, may better understand or where I can make you a better picture with easier words out of it without telling you all these technical terms. Just saying Cordura is this and this fabric with this and this cast number and blah blah blah, it's made of these chemicals. Some of you guys maybe care about this, but those guys with this very high involvement for the product will make more research than just watching my channel. But for you guys who just want to have an honest brief overview from a person who has experience in this this is the right channel and that's why i'm doing this for you so let's go with the pet the pet i have here is basically the 900 by 400 uh, millimeter pet and it's three millimeter thick it has the new stitching i show you the uh, i show you the old stitching at first this here is a um, white aqua control pad from X-ray pad and that's the old stitching guys. And just to compare it, I just hold them together in the lens. On the German review I, I did it single but maybe it, this um, shows you a little bit better how it looks. Just to compare it. The um, X-ray pad improved the stitching like I think one or two months ago or they just invented it two months ago on some aqua control pads. Um, the benefits of this stitching now is that when you when it goes over from the pad to the edge it's more flat. Yes it's not as flat as an artisan pad but an artisan pad is like five times or six times more expensive than the X-ray pad and, and these sizes and this pad like if you compare it's a 45 by 40 pet, cost 18 or 19 US doll. And I think an artisan pet starts at 45 or something like that, or 49. So it's like three times or two times more expensive. And I think for this point, the stitching here, how they made it, and the rubber back and the, um, the rubber inside is very, very good. So they use um, a bio rubber inside from Thailand, as they show on their webpage. And they say it's very environmental friendly. One thing I always can tell you by um, comparing this rubber, um, which is in this pet, it's like um, when we go over to Artisan again, who is offering um, soft, X soft and mid pets. And we compare this, basically this is something like a soft, a little bit, a little bit harder than a soft pet. Basically, why is it, or, or why is it necessary to know this? There are some points for you as gamer you need to understand. Um, gaming in general and how your aiming movement and stuff is, is basically just pure physics, raw physics. And if you are understood um, how physics uh, behave and influence um, your gaming, you can work on everything you may lack. Some people lack on speed and tracking, some people um, lay on or uh, um, have like jitters in aim and there are possibilities to avoid this or to work around this to get better to get better mouse feeling better tracking better better stopping on a flick but one thing here is if you compare for example artisan x soft soft and mid the x soft is the pad where your mouse and your arm will sink in the most so the, the just the pure weight of your mouse and your arm will let sink you in into the pad, which basically gives you a slower tracking and uh, a harder or a, 
um, you need more force, for example, to start the movement. But there is like very good stopping power, because as it is very soft and it's not that fast as a mid pad, for example, if you compare it on the Hayabatsu, for example, which is, uh, in my opinion, an, an hybrid pad, which very good micro control. There is, when on the mid, you're just missing some very good stopping power on flicks, but um, in general, the glide is very insane, very controllable. And um, that's the reason why I always say people try different pads, not only by Xsoft, because Tens was playing Xsoft high, high and zero. That's not the solution, guys. Tens is, um, as much as I saw, a very skinny dude. And um, for people like me with heavy, heavy bones, who are not thick, just heavy, and um, is it hard to play an Xsoft pad? I have Raiden Xsoft, for example. And um, I will I sink in a little bit. And also, uh, some of Xsoft pads at Artisan are, are, have some waves in it. Not all, but some of them. And if you use high-end and Xsoft, for example, the uh, horizontal and vertical resistance is so much different to each other that it's like it's super confusing. And when you use the mid of the yen, it's less because the structure where you uh, gets deeper as more as you sink in to something. If a rough structure, for example, is on a very soft pad, you sink very hard in and then the resistance get very, very high. And that's not good for you if you want to track something very fast. Basically, if we compare it back to the days in Counter-Strike, um, when we look, for example, at the Corsair Pet, the 250 Champion Series, which was made by Tapson, who is still an insane Counter-Strike player. I watched and he's doing was doing an ace against Sprout last week. And this guy is, I don't know, man, he's nuts. And, but I can tell you, he, they're still playing like these four millimeter thick um, low sense pens who feel like old juicy case, you know. Um, yes, pros playing this. Yes, pros playing 80 gram mouse or mice. Yes, pros playing 150 EDPI or 100 or 200. But these guys playing professional or these games since ages, since the decade or more. And they basically never changed something very... At some point, maybe they changed, but the base they use on, the form of the mouse, the weight, the structure of the pet, never changed a lot. Because, sure, they are adopting faster, because um, they are very trained on the muscle and brain memory and what they're doing, and they have a lot of time to train and to adapt, but they always try to perform on the same level with the same products for a long term. And that's why I can tell you right now, if you start gaming or if you come back to gaming like I did, don't do the mistakes I did by super slow pets and heavy mouse. Try to coop and adopt the new stuff. And Cordura is the new stuff. One advantage I already told you guys is that and one thing I want to really talk about is how long this pet will last. Basically, the uh, X-ray pet is always telling us and um, that skin, skin comfort is high, this has a smooth piece, a good control is easy to clean, waterproof, and had good abrasion resistance. The abrasion resistance on Cordura products is very, very high. They use it in like on work clothes, you know. And that shows that when you have a heavy duty usage on something, it lasts very long. And one thing for environmental friendly, in my opinion, is bringing out products which are sustainable and last long, which are playable, for example, like this mouse pad for a long term on the same conditions. And Cordura is basically how it's made, how it's woven, uh, the technique, how it's made. One a pet which is able to fulfill these requirements. So if you decide yourself or if you will decide or are seeking for a Cordura pet, uh, I will tell you now why this is the best. You can choose right now in pricing and in um, the production. And I also will uh, explain you which benefits you have. Let's start with the benefits. As I said, it's water resistant. I show you now the water resistance. Um, some of you know this glass, 
I got this glass from Final Boy. Um, after making this super good Final Mouse video um, with this um, inspirational finding of flaws on his um, godlike product, he just sent me this glass with a bottle of water straight from the States and he said it, that's the um, that's the glass of the gods with aim water for aim gods. So I use it for this because I want to add some aim points on my Cordura pet. But basically I just want to show you how it peels off right now. Um, thanks Final Boy for this by the way. I will show you now what on a non, it's non-coated guys, on a non-coated Cordura pet out of synthetic fibers which is based on oil, raw oil, the water peels off. I show you now. And I think you can still see the small bubbles on the pad. And this shows you when I when I wish when I just rub over them, you maybe can see a little bit how the water gets into the surface. But basically, this only happens when you like put pressure on it. Just as I explained, a pure water soil or just drops of water which was dropping on the pad will not stay there. Don't, if you if, if you plain and juice or coke or something is um, dripping on your Cordura, don't take a swipe and do this. Just do this. That's way better. It just goes off and the rest you can, uh, you can use a wet swipe or something. So that's one very big advantage. Then for this Cordura pad, it's very soft. I show you now the the, the, the best Cordura pet on the market, in my opinion, by, by Weaving for now, but not by pricing. And um, that's the Endgame Gear MPX 390. It comes in 390 to 390 millimeter square, which is very small, but it has very equal weaving to this Cordura pet, which is, I, I will try to show you both so you can compare a little bit. And maybe I show this. The weavings are both very tight. The only thing is on the MPX, the weavings are like done like this. The, the strains, the fibers, there are some fibers where the where the other fiber gets woven over. So they are they are crossing each other. So the 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 weavings crossing each other too. That's why it has a, a super good microcontrolling for a Kodura pad. All other Kodura pads, the MPC for example. In these, this microcontrolling is average. MPC microcontrolling is like here. Um, MPX and here Tygoon microcontrolling is like here. Hyatt Otsu microcontrolling is like here. And Aqua Control Plus Black Galaxy microcontrolling is like here. So if you just compare it, microcontrolling on MPX 390 and Tygoon are very equal. The 390 feels a little bit faster, but for some people it's maybe too fast. The speed um, on the Tygoon is, is okay. Um, I would compare it to an, it's faster than an Equate, but it's um, slower than a Hayat Otsu Soft, and it's um, nearly the same speed as the, as the new Aqua Control White, which I also review soon for you. Basically, it, it's pretty equal from, from speed side, but not from, from behaving of the mouse. The glide is very, very, very consistent. And on the Smoyeva weaving, on the control pads, for example, it's like an, um, there's nothing like an, an tight weaving or like there's, it says every, every fiber is there and there. On the Smoyeva weaving, it's like, just like, it goes a little bit crazy, you know? So as we complain these pads, I can tell you, um, I just get here this, this old MP500 Chen from um, Cooler Master, this one. This has one of the roughest stitchings um, on, the, on the market from um, Cordura side. The resistance is very high and I explain you why I bought this one. Because um, in, in a video two years ago or something, Rocket Jump Ninja was mentioning that this is his main pet. And I was very new into gaming again. I just started 2019 again as some of you guys know. And I just bought this one and was very disappointed because I was like still this Din CS Dinosauria style heavy mouse uh, slow pad. 
Yeah, I was very disappointed because uh, the stopping was not good. But one thing here is, I do this. It's very rough and you would feel it on the skin on a German video. I was rubbing it here for a while. If you play this pet six or eight hours without a sleeve, your, your arm will get red and get, get roughened off. So that's not good for playing. Here on this Tycoon pet, the roughness is so good. Like, yes, there is a resistance, but it's not feeling like it's, it's scratching your skin or roughen, um, makes your skin rougher while moving on it very fast. That's so that's also for people who are playing low sense. And one thing here is the durability. Based on how the pet is made, the Cordura fabric and how Cordura in general is made, this pet will last you very, very long. And also this pet, because of the fabric and of the Cordura style, is not influenced by humidity and temperature, guys. As you saw, water is peeling off and it's not coated, which basically means, yes, it is a little bit stiffer, but there will be no negative effect by humidity if you live in an area which is very um, uh, infected by different hum humidation, so different um, percentage of humidity every day and different temperatures, this pet will not change. The characteristic will stay the same. And uh, as you can see, cats also like it. <laughs> it's just a joke. It's very good for player who always seek for a performance which is on a daily basis equal to every day. And for like six months to one year. I, I bet, I bet here, I do a 10 euro bet, you can play this on a six hour base for six months. And it still performs the same. I bet for this. As I said, these are the main advantages of this pet. Um, pricing is very good. If we compare Endgame Gear MPC 1200 to Tygoon, it's, I can't think you can hear it and you can see it. It's very stiff. It's stiff and hard. And the structure is way rougher and you feel that the structure is rougher and harder. So the fibers are not feeling as soft as the fibers here. And um, if you pet on one, um, I hear they say smooth at the bead surface, they used a smooth version of the, fabric, uh, of the fabric here, of the fibers, to give you a very smooth feeling. And that's very important because MPC for me kind of feels un not unnatural, but yeah, I mean, it's too, yeah, not enjoyable. I like M I like Endgame Gears. I don't have beef with them, guys. I really love the MPX 390. If this, if this pet comes out in big, I would definitely buy it and review it because that's one of my, my favorite or my own top five pets. Some people ask me, what's your top five pet or what's top five pet? Just for my opinion, this could be a market leader if there would be another size. But for now, just by pricing, by how close it comes to an MPX 390 for way less money. You can buy, uh, as I said, MPC size. This year is a little bit bigger for just, I think it's, it's 50 US dollar. It's like 45 Euro plus sending. You're like on 60 Euro too. And if you buy an, um, an MPC at Case King, for example, in Germany, it's just the same price plus shipping. And here it's with shipping. So MPC will get a little bit more expensive for the most of you guys, if you're not getting it on Amazon on, on Black Friday or whatever. For me, if I would have to decide between MPC and uh, Trigoon, I would uh, choose the Trigoon. The micro corrections are better. You are way more able to make awesome micro corrections. The fabric is smoother. The stitching on the edges is better, by the way. Um, MPC has a lot of problems with edge, uh, with edge stitching, we know from Reddit. And MPC is most likely or often has waves in it or, or some edges in the, in the surface which never go away. The Tygoon, when I just put it out, it was rolled when I sent it, I just had a uh, laying over there on my glass desk uh, for two days. One very warm, one very cold day. And today I just put it here on the pad and I played it. And there is like, you no, know, it's like you only see that it was, was rolled a little bit on, on the left edge. But basically there are no waves anymore and no stretches, no marks, there's nothing like it. It looks super clear and there's nothing which is influencing your glide. Um, not on the super light and not on the Zaunkönig. If you know Zaunkönig, the carbon fiber and the, these awesome made glides 
I know where they are made, these glides, they are very smooth. I can't, I'm, or I'm not allowed to tell you where they are made. Um, let me say it this way. They give a very awesome response on every pet. If you have carbon fiber in your hand and these glides on these uh, 23 gram mouse, you basically can feel how the glide is acting. That's insane. But also on the super light, which has this very big light in front, which always shows me when I just put it there, how linear something is. When I just get it over, it slides horizontal, even if it has this big resistant glide here in front. And it's it's very um, linear glide for this mouse, and it feels very good for it, for this. Also, I would say for people who are playing real low sense and moving their uh, whole forearm on the pad with a palm grip, this is also a good addition or possibility for you guys to maybe go away from your super high resistance pads or from your very slow QCK pads or whatever you're playing to maybe choose this because you will not need to change this every month or all three months because you guys doing a lot of work you're like um, your PTFE feeds and stuff they are making a lot of meters every day when you guys playing pro like my friend um, Nico um, Obnox from Big, he's in German Valorant Pro, or Robin, who's also a um, top 100 Radiant player in Valorant. These guys, when they showed me videos and how they played, one of them has very big hands with a very heavy mouse, and they just do this the whole day. They make a lot of meters, because they're playing very low EDPI and DPI settings. Even for these guys, this pet is an option because of the high durability, and that is always performs the same and the ability to get big pads like 120 by 550 and um, later I think they will get the classic square 50 by 50 and 60 by 60 options which are in my opinion very good also because you can take them on LAN very easy and uh, help you to perform better there. So at the end what I have to say to this pad um, I was zero hype for the pad to be honest for me it was just like well fuck man another Cordura I know by our YouTube channel there's a lot of people are are uh, want to see these Cordura pets and want to know about these Cordura pets and I think for now yes I don't have the Eve pet but for now in general and how good I know X-ray pet and how I see how this pet is made and how they delivered it that's right now the number one Cordura pet on the market by far in pricing in performance in how it's made, how the smoothness is, how the microcontrol is, how the thickness is, how the soft or uh, how the softness of the rubber is. Basically, that's the number one pet, guys. If you're really seeking for a Cordura and you really, really want to replace your pet with a Cordura, try this. Try to get it. I know we also have resellers in Europe. I hope they get it. Uh, if you are from Europe, uh, Europe, I think that's in, in I don't know, in Belgium. A company and maybe maybe we don't know we try to work out something with um, X-ray pet also and maybe we do our own Cordura with them later in like a half year or a year guys from now so if you have or if you want to ask something if you want to know something more I, I forgot something or you think my comparison with NPC was not fair or you say the Eve is way better or you say every Cordura is the same because it's all like Cordura there's no light Cordura. There's no fast, no heavy Cordura. Cordura has a number after the name. And not just a number. And this number will tell you guys nothing. Because you don't have the list and you don't have the specifications of this. So, but if you want to say something, or I mentioned something I forgot, or whatever, or, or ask, uh, you need more information, or want to hear more information from me, just put it down below in the comments. I always um, try to reply as soon as possible. Please be constructive. Um, remember, I do this channel on my own experience. Um, that's my. That's what I think about the pet. That's not what you have to think about the pet. I don't want to say buy this pet because that's the best Cordura in the world. I don't say this. That's for me the best Cordura pet. Okay, guys, because of size, price, and how it's made. And that's very close to the MPX. Try to educate yourself. I don't want to teach you. I don't want to influence you in by or how you have to think about this pet. I just want to give you my expertise on this pet and that you will be able to to print or or 
yeah, just to make your own picture of the microcosmos of Cordura pets, of pricings, of, a, 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 um, of the way or the possibilities to buy them, and which two or three pets you maybe try to source to try for yourself to find out which is the best pick for you. So, as I said this guys, thanks for watching so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was very extended again, but I think Cordura is a complicated theme because I see people um, when Betsy Tech was Betsy Tech um, Brian P was asking on his very big Twitter. He has very uh, like uh, 500k YouTube followers. I don't know. Was asking for best Corduras. People said Artisan. Guys, there's no Cordura at Artisan. Okay, I just want to to. Um, just to get you guys the possibilities to understand the differences. So guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, maybe leave a follow. I would like to inform you even more about new products in future. And I think this is one of the deepest or tech review channels with the in-deepest reviews you will ever get. Bye guys.